So all month we've really enjoyed having you show us what Minnesota educators are doing to up their school lunch game. This mid-morning we're going to a Twin City suburb with a huge high school and a huge commitment to farm fresh food that reflects a diverse student body. Derusha Eats at Hopkins High School. So how does this work? Um, so you pick your choice of veggies. You can choose one, two, three, or all of them. When a high school junior is this excited about school lunch... I'll do peppers and onions and broccoli, please. You know there's something interesting going on at Hopkins High School. There's a huge line. Yeah, yeah. This is a hit. Yes, it's new. It started this year and it's really, really good. Linda Nayakundi is one of the 775 customers who go through this kitchen every day. You're the biggest restaurant in Hopkins. Yeah, we that's are. For sure. We are. Sandra Rulick does the menu planning and ordering for the high school, coming up with dishes for all these different cafeteria stations. We are making 95% of our food from scratch. It is not coming out of a box. Hopkins buys a lot of food directly from farmers. Tons of veggies from Riverbend in Delano. Tomatoes from the Hmong American Farmers Association. Blueberries from a farm in Bayfield. Turkey from Cannon Falls. Many of Hopkins schools have their own gardens, too. The overarching goal here is to feed students' bodies and their minds. Like they teach us like so much about like what we should be eating, so it reflects really well when um, the foods that they're serving here go along with what you know we're recommended to eat. It's and as the Hopkins schools have changed, so have the lunch ingredient lists. We have 50 different languages represented in our district. 50. 50, yes. And so we are working to expand our global offerings by our new menu items. Today is an Asian chicken rice bowl with veggies seared on the flat top and homemade teriyaki sauce. They're lined up at the door for it. The kids love it. They've done Somali beef, chicken tikka, and Korean beef bulgogi. I think we have a more global student population and we're trying to incorporate more global food. Roast beef here isn't from a package, it's eye of round sliced in the kitchen. Luis hand makes the sauce and rolls the dough for 300 pizzas a day. I think it tastes like a homemade pizza. You nailed that. <laughs> nice job, chef. You cannot miss the care that goes into every step here. What do you think? I think it's very good. Yeah. A high school lunch that's honoring the students' cultures and inspiring healthy choices. This is really good quality food that they're getting. The kids are giving it the thumbs yeah, up. Uh, it, it was delicious. It was delicious. It Amazing. Delicious. It looks awesome. So, a couple questions because this really fascinates me a little bit. Number one, how many um, employees are there in the cafeteria to prepare all the food? Yeah, I asked that, Riley. They said they have about. Uh, 12 to 15 okay. in there, so it's a pretty big I mean, operation. That's a, yeah. yeah, it's a hard work. And I'm yeah. sure they and have that's to get one school. They, they have the elementary schools also also that are doing right. similar things. Did they did they also speak about cost effective, like what it is to get all the all the fresh ingredients in? Yeah, so they're part of the federal school lunch program, and school lunch for a kid is under four dollars. Okay. Is what the kid pays. They get money from the federal government to help subsidize wow. that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, some of it comes from experience and scale. So working with these farmers directly they're able to get good deals they're able to make it work it, costs, it definitely wow. costs a little more than it would to just sure. use the commodity type yeah. stuff right um, but that's the commitment that they're making it's to the great. kids it's to really good local farmers mm -hmm. it matters yeah. it makes a difference right that's a great one